everybody, happy holidays, happy new year, fuck 2020, 2021 is probably going to be bad too, but hopefully less bad. <laughs> uh, we're going to play some songs and uh, have a drink or two with you to, uh, you know, help you get through your, I guess, cheers. Happy New Year's. Yeah, like that. <laughs> to get through your New Year's Day, head over if you have one or whatever. Um, yeah, Ho hopefully we'll do some more of these uh, until we can actually play real shows again. But here's a few songs. Happy New Year. Strong, struggle to hold on. And if I don't, 
If I don't make it home, if I don't make it home, if my boots and my gun and my guitar to my son, if I don't make it home, my brothers, my love, tell my mother I tried to live up to a crime, tell my father I cannot do without a fight, down without a. Let's go look at mansions on the boulevard Dream about someday one could be ours Dream about sitting on the porch Sipping whiskey and playing our guitars With a dog in the yard and a couple of kids Sunday morning sleeping in Me and you wearing nothing but our tattoos Couple months nowadays, and it's you know for a few seconds, and we're very worried about 
spreading a deadly virus, so we don't jam too often. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, this, uh, you know, we'll dedicate this entire set to our dear friend and bandmate Ellie, who is not with us today uh, because of the plague. Um, you make it sound like they died. Well, they are not here with us currently physically <laughs> because of the plague, but they are healthy at home with Casey and the dogs. And uh, shout out to Otis the demon dog. I don't even know why I picked up this beer. I didn't take a drink of it. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna get real sad here. Um, just uh, a quick thing. We're gonna be posting in the comments of this video probably a link to donate to uh, the People's Pizza Party, which Adam can talk a little bit about if you're not familiar. Yeah, we uh, we have a project that we use. We kind of wanted to use our our tour van for um, the revolution this summer. And uh, we were we partnered with Brave Space Alliance um, for our uh, the last few episodes of our quarantine live stream uh, ten thousand years ago when the plague first started <laughs> in the spring of twenty twenty, and um, that kind of carried over into doing a supply run for them that uh, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this helped us raise money for. And our dear friend Mike Popek at uh, what was Dante's Tavern reached out and he wanted to help and get involved so that started a weekly uh, mutual aid project called the People's Pizza Party. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's a cool thing. Jeff Schaller of Jeff Schaller and the Long Way Home is kind of my partner in that project, uh, our partner in that project. Um, and it's it's been a lot of fun getting to know a lot of folks around town, houseless folks, folks, other activists, people in mutual aid networks and um, different organizations and uh, there's just a Venmo at People's Pizza Party and any little bit helps feed people, uh, get CTA passes, clothing, um, you know, whatever other supplies people ask for. We try to get tents, blankets. Um, it's, it's really cool uh, to be part of something like that with, with Jeff and with everyone else that has helped out. George, uh, Gorgeous George from Wild Earth and the Free For Alls is a regular on the uh, Sunday runs, our other, another friend of ours named Ellie Moore. Um, Jessica Cabe has helped plenty of times. Uh, I'm sure there's other folks that I'm forgetting. Uh, I know Jeff's friend Michelle has helped out. Uh, Dave Anzok, um, whatever. A lot of folks. It's been great. Alex has helped quite a bit. Of course. Uh, and, and I know times are tough, and because of that shithead Mitch McConnell, a lot of us lost our unemployment today. Um, but if you got some extra Christmas scratch laying around to help feed these people in the, some of the harshest conditions Chicago faces, uh, please give what you can. Yeah, yeah, and if not, you know, if you don't donate to us, the Night Ministry or Brave Space Alliance or whatever, any of those organizations are great. We'll put links to all of them in the comments of this. Uh, those are some organizations that we work with on a regular basis. Uh, Democratic Socialists of America, Chicago. Um, yeah, uh, the Black Abolition Network, uh, whatever. There's a ton of them. We'll post a few. People's Pizza Party is the one that we are most directly involved with. Uh, this is this song is about every weekend of 2020, past <laughs> March. And how we feel about <laughs> missing all of you. Saturday morning Drank until the sunrise Whiskey pouring Drowning all my sorrows Gets me to tomorrow Gets me through another Another lonely weekend without you Saturday morning 
gave way to afternoon and without warning I went from lying next to you to lying next to nothing just knowing that there's nothing I can do another lonely weekend without you When Sunday comes and I wake up wherever that might be, I'll head out in the sunshine. I'll find an open bar stool. I'll drink away another, another lonely weekend without you. Maybe another 25 or 30 more long weekends without everybody, hopefully. <laughs> maybe, maybe less if we're lucky. I don't know. This vaccine roll has been pretty fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got next? In advance. Oh, this is another song. This is, um, this is a cover by a band called Dawes, who I didn't think was a real band when I first heard of them. <laughs> because... Uh, I heard of them from an episode of the TV show called The Parenthood. Uh, Dak Shepard played a uh, like a producer engineer that was working with a, a rock band called Dawes, and I thought it was just a fake band for the show. And then um, I think I, I finished a Deer Tick album on Spotify, and the next song that came up was a Dawes song, and it was a while ago. Um, and I didn't really like the song, <laughs> honestly, but, uh, <laughs> but then this year, uh, in my, like, Spotify shuffle, um, this particular song came on all your favorite bands, and it really made me think of all the things we were supposed to do this year, and all the people, uh, I miss, and old friends, and, uh, getting back in touch with a lot of old friends, which I did this year quite a bit with, uh, FaceTime and Zoom and all that bullshit. I was going to say, I probably talked to my parents more than I ever did in my life this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, this song's called All Your Favorite Bands. One, two, three. Midnight drives and hot french fries and friends around the country From Charlottesville to good old Santa Fe When I think of you, you've still got all
Ah, shit, it turned off. Ah, shit. Tarnation. That's why you got it. We gotta use the old fashioned pen and paper in one of these days. <laughs> Alright, we got two new songs. This is a single we released back in um, November? October. We October. released it. We released a song a few weeks before the election came out, and I think the thinking behind that, at least for me, um, Nick Leffler did the video, a good friend of ours, did the comic book for Uncle Tommy as well. Um, was kind of like, we did, I don't think that anything that we were going to do or say was necessarily going to tip the scales for the election, but uh, I thought, and I think we all thought that, uh, without speaking for anyone else, that it was important to get that song out before the election. It made more sense, especially with the video, a few weeks before the election than it would have if we would have waited until the album was already out. Uh, so if you haven't seen the video yet, go check it out. Uh, it's really cool. Nick did a great job. Show it to your uh, Trump-supporting, COVID-denying family members. And if you had any doubts, yes, he lost the election. Yeah, he lost, for sure. You know, his, uh... He snuck three Supreme Court justices in there, but they still said he lost, so get over it. <laughs> yeah, his successor isn't going to be great, but we averted the worst-case scenario for now. So keep working together, and uh, let's keep the momentum from 2020 going. And hopefully we can actually celebrate in person in a few months. Um... that you can donate to uh, People's Pizza Party. We'll have that uh, info in the, in the comments as well as our other community partners. Um, 
I think it's important to emphasize that we do this work as a mutual aid and solidarity. It's not a charity. Uh, this isn't about making ourselves feel better. It's about strengthening the community as a whole. Um, some of the houses folks that we know that we've gotten to be friends with now are actively involved in mutual aid, uh, just as much or even more so than we are at times. Um, and that which is really awesome and inspiring. Uh, I think this is a, I can't speak for the person who wrote the song because they are not here, but our, uh, our beloved lead guitar player, Ellie wrote this song, and I think it's a song about mutual aid. I think it's a song about revolution and, and yeah, hope. Just about taking care of each other. Yeah, it's a, it's a hopeful song. Uh, most of our political songs aren't necessarily hopeful. They're just kind of like uh, angry, I guess. <laughs> and this one, this is a hopeful song. Uh, all right. All right. Hit it!